Hello everybody, I'm the Hammer the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to my Ching China achievement run where in the last episode we begun the war. Sadly though, um, China has not bottled it completely but they have managed to lose some of the holding that we had. Now we do need to change these guys up as well. I'm hoping it's not going to impact us too much. Uh, we do only have 9,000 guns. Wait, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, wait a second. Okay, we are going to have a deficit, but we are going to have much better divisions available to us. And we are pushing this port, which is also, again, fantastic. Right, these guys, there is absolutely no Japanese divisions up here. So, if anything, you guys need to get in behind there, get the Pyongyang. Whereas your pal here, just everybody that is just willing to go for it, do it. Just push mentally. And we've got those divisions helping over there. Not going to accept any of that. They can bugger off with that. Okay. The plan has now happened. So these guys are going to get their equipment. It's just going to take them a little bit of time. Right. Okay. They are starting to stack that port, which is a shame. But that's just a typical Japanese thing to do, isn't it, though? However, on the plus side, we are getting the push in Korea going. So one, one problem at a time. Now we are getting factories in as well, so it's good. Yes, I know divisions aren't getting their supply just yet, but they are there. They are there, they're going to be fine. They are hella stacking that port. We've got divisions over there now. You guys get over there and try and destroy them there. Right, Seoul, get across there. You come in down here. Pusan needs to fall. Pusan needs to fall. Okay, they are coming with a. They're coming with some more divisions, which isn't disastrous. It just means we're going to be kind of in a slog, but that's fine. There's nine divisions on that plan right now. What the hell? Just go ahead and bin that. You buggers, get your ass down here. Right, when he is, when he, whoa, 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 when he is in here, when he is in here, we just need to try and encircle, 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 encircle. That is the plan. See, they're getting their supply now, which is good. These guys are dead in here. We're trying to keep on top of them. Okay, we've we've done a decent job of pushing down here. I'm not going to complain too much about the fact that we're now getting slogged down. Sadly, I would appeal to the international community to try and get some more guns in from other nations, but they will most likely reject that due to us being fascist. And I don't think they're, you know, really wanting to aid us. I'm just going to try and keep these guys pending because our organization isn't the greatest. And with these guys as well, we need to just pound these lot here. We don't need to push ourselves. I need to take advantage of the fact that they have this terrible modifier right now, which they lose in February. So we need to take advantage of that. If I can weasel my way around their army, it's going to work out very nicely. But we are we're doing our job down here, though. We are doing our job. Yeah, they've, they've stopped us there. Get back on that. Right, there goes main Kuko. So those divisions in the north, they're dead. Those guys are dead in here. Right, so we've got Red's going to help the Chinese deal with that. We're hopefully going to push in here. These guys are going to come down here and also help with the push. What we'll do is we'll stop that. I was going to say, what the hell are they doing? Okay, sadly, sadly we're not going to be able to push any more right now. But they will not have the greatest supply in there at all. They have one port supporting all those divisions. Yep, right. Reds, you've done your job in the north. Fantastic. So let's get them all down here now. Let's get this drawn. Let's get this offensive going. And we'll leave them to grind themselves away because that is what they're doing. So once they are exhausted, we strike them. Getting there, that's a break really for us. That's a break there. Now remember, this is cavalry right now. We will fare much better when the Reds are down here supporting us. 
But since the, uh, since they're kind of still engaged up in the north, what the, why are we staring at that gap? We're staring at that gap. That'll cut off the port. Come on. Good. Got another port cut off. So this is really going to help destroy their, um, their current supply in that area. Okay. We're doing fine. They got they brought tanks over, but stuff their tanks. Right, these guys are right on it because if we can get that port, that other port needs to fall. And they have a lot of divisions in it. We could offer vassalization right now, but I'm gonna wait until we're at peace. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do closer ties with Germany at this moment in time. Just make sure the Germans are really backing us, because it probably will end up joining the Axis later on. Uh, we could go ahead and Japan oh the war is won. Yep, the war has been won. Yep, bugger off, please. Glorious. And we get Meng Chuko, which is fantastic. So, right, well that was um much quicker than I was expecting to be. Korea is here. Korea is going to die. They are going to die. That is the fate that awaits them. Yeah, I know they're democratic and it feels like a complete misjustice to them. But, um, why not? Now, since we're actually at peace, let's go ahead and bin that. Because I did say I was going to do this when we're at peace. So let's go ahead and offer vassalization to the warlords. Let's see if they'll accept. So, no one should come to Korea's aid. I just do want to secure them. Just because I'll use them later on to naval invade... Uh, well, not naval invade Japan. Probably use it as an air base. Well, we could naval invade from uh, Busan. But uh, that's really, really well. That's really, really well done. Now, it is a shame their divisions are still over here. They need to bugger off. But uh, we are going to be striking China as soon as this offer vassalization is done. Because if a lot of them join us, we should be good. Now again, we might have to actually beef up our army slightly. So we're going to get rid of you now, because we're not going to need you. You down to default. And what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to disband the banners, which we can get back if we need them. And we're going to release the bandits as well. They are no longer needed. We're going to get rid of you. And we can change them over as well, I think, now. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go ahead and change them, because they're no longer veterans, so there is really no need to keep them as that. The cavalry, however, I think I might actually have them stick around. Alright, there we go. Let's change your infantry as well. Don't have the infantry equipment right now, but we will have eventually. Because we did get a decent number of factories. There we go. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to accept the vassalization here. Oh, are we... we're done. Right, Jibidi San Ma, Ma Bufang's known his place. Yan Yisan, which I'm sure Shang Si refused, Lai Zongren's refused. So we've got two refused. Sheng, Long Yun, and Ma Bufang have all submitted. That is the perfect trio, I feel. Because, yes, fair enough, Yang Si clique, a lot of divisions. Shang Si, we're right on the border with. Communist China's also in. We do have our work cut out for us. But uh, we have we have done what we needed to, and we've got some of them on our side. So what I feel like we should do is I feel like we should grab the Imperial University and the other research slot as well. We could close the Burma Road, we're not gonna do that. Um well let's have a wee look to see if Germany's willing to we can give a, oh, we can request the license thing of them. They would give us Panzer ones. Okay. Yeah, we could get Panzer 1s from Germany. Production license. But anyways, now that we have these guys, what we'll do is we'll set them up. Actually, we'll just request their, uh, their forces. Actually, let's not even request their forces. You can have them back. Right, we're gonna steal, uh, get steel from the Soviets right now. <coughs> now, we'll 
deal with Korea first, I feel. Get rid of them. Give us time to build up our the rest of our army. It, sh it shouldn't be too hard. They aren't... Oh, they got rid of the army thing. Okay, damn. Could it be more of a challenge than I'm expecting it to be. They only have three ships right now. We don't have any dockyards. I was going to say, if we can make a navy. Making a navy could be one of the most beneficial things we could do right now. We need the basic torpedo for subs. Ah, sons of guns. Right, let's get the basic torpedo. I want the subs. We'll get subs built. Naval invade them. I feel like it's the best thing to do. If we close the Burma Road, what does it do? It will lose... Oh! Yep, stuff you. I closed the Burma Road. Damn, imagine if I could get them to subjugate right now. How hilarious would that be? Alright, we can go up the war economy. Let's do that. Right, so that's, that's looking good. I'm going to start just training them. I want two batches of 24 out. So, yeah, we're, we're a lot of guns short. It's only going to take 211 days to sort out. That's going to take 78 days, so it's not going to be too long. Plus, Korea is not really going to be an issue for us. Right, Imperial University. Grab that. Then we'll go ahead and grab the uh, the one up here as well. Uh, but we'll grab the civilian factories first thing. Grab it, of course. Then we can go ahead and grab the Chinese general staff as well. Which will add to our planning skills of all of our generals, which, you know, isn't terrible either. And then we can get some panzers in, we can purchase some tanks for them. We need motorized for continuing down that. But that's two military factories there, which, you know, I'll take. We need all the military factories we can get our hands on right now. Now, we could actually, I know it seems kind of pointless, because we could end up back at war with them. I don't want that division. I am going to call the puppets in at some point, and they're going to do the work themselves. I thought maybe Communist China would leave the faction at this point. But, um, what was I going to say there? I was going to say something. Yeah, it's, it kind of makes no sense. But um, we can go ahead and collaborate with the Japanese over investments in Navy. Which wouldn't be a bad idea because he does get some dockyards by doing that. Yeah, I know. Japanese. It is the Japanese. They are going to be our enemies once again in the future. But we're not going to be able to do the US. We're not going to be able to do that. So I'm sure... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do any of this because we need the current ruling party not aligned, which we're not going to have. So if we grab that, we can get modern subs, so that would have helped us actually, but those I'm looking more at those dockyards. Okay. Germany is declare war on Poland. And I am going to declare war on Korea. Alright, let's do collaboration with the Japanese. It makes sense to do so. Alright, let's get going. Oh gosh, I thought it was Korea joined the Allies. I was like, oh Jesus, they shouldn't join. They shouldn't join. They should just accept this. But it's more land for us. Free real estate, after all. Two factories, two military factories, that is. One civvy. Do they have any dockyards? They have a dockyard. Germany's asking for docking rights, so is Japan. No, not Japan, China. Not China. <laughs> Italy. Alright, I feel like Busan might be the uh, capitulation of them. Yep. I wish I got the choice to, you know, let Korea have their independence or not. Oh, look, the Japanese are still here. They're still my territory as well. Of course, they'd instantly die, but they're still here. There it is. There's the one dockyard. Oh my days, Korea has a division. They actually have a division. A division that will die, nonetheless, but it's a division. Oh, 
There we go, Korea's dead. Take all states. Glorious. Right. Now that's secured. We have a single dockyard. Start work on convoys. Yeah, right. Um, do we want to go to limited exports? I feel like we don't really have the resources that we'd warrant us doing so. I feel like we're best to stay on export focus for the construction speed and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. We could get Charlie Beach and all, but that's never going to happen. Uh, do we maybe want to increase conscription? Actually, let's grab the industrial concern. Yes. Um, do we want to get support? We could get support companies in as well. I feel like we might need them. And what we do need to do is work on naval invasion capacities as well. Shanghai is definitely a good start. So once integrated support finishes, we'll jump back over here. Scroll down here, get the transport ship, 120 days. 290 days to get to the 50. Well, that would put us up to 50, which again, not a terrible idea at all. Uh, we do have time. Just, we, we don't want them getting too strong. Because, of course, I do have to build myself up for... Come on. Finish. All right, collaboration with Japan is done. We need to improve relations. Should have thought about that. Improve relations. Actually, let's ask for... We get asked to join the faction. Oh, we could use Japan to aid us, but then if they do too much, they'll take all the land. So, let's not do that. Let's ask for docking rights. Just because it should boost up our... Relations with them. I'm hoping, anyways. No, it hasn't really, but we've got that. Um, I guess we'll wait to do the focus. We shall wait. Scribe transport ship. There's the early submarine hull. Let's go ahead and get the next one. At least on the plus side now. Ah, oh, bollocks, we don't have any. That gives us Navy experience. Good, because we're not got any weapons or anything on our ships. It's up to 56. Anyways, we've got divisions starting to come out, which is good. Keep clicking on it. Stop it. Alright, let's get you back in. Alright, so we've got troops coming out, which is good. Of course, they're doing foreign threats right now. Yeah, we've already got the United Front. Why didn't you prioritise the interior? I feel like that would have been beneficial for us. Torpedo attack, let's go ahead. And I don't really spend much time upgrading ships, but I feel like we might as well go ahead and beef up these submarines. I feel like they could end up just being the whole backbone of our... of our navy, really. Yeah, it's very close to being able to be done now. All right, so we're up to 14 divisions on you. Let's go ahead and exercise everyone, because I feel like a lot of people could be needing it. So another division there. We'll go ahead and get some more to Falkenhausen. Yeah, 85 days to sort that out. Let's go ahead and do investments in shipbuilding. Two dockyards, which should be enough. We don't need a massive navy. They only have three ships, so as long as we can get like treble that, or maybe quadruple that, we should be good. France is dead already before 1940. I'm sure Germany would have just done the Blitzkrieg achievement, the AI. Um, should be in here. Do, do, do. Blitzkrieg, where is it? There's Brits Krieg. Yeah, the true Blitz Krieg. Oh yeah, you'll notice that I've done just nuked them. It's not finished yet, but it's there. Yeah, they would have they would have done it. They would have done true Blitz Krieg. And there's Rudolf Hess taking a nice wee flight to Scotland and dying. Alright. Do you know what? Was he slightly delusion uh, delusional thinking he could you know, get peace between Germany and Britain. I'm sure that's why he took his flight, isn't it? Might be wrong saying that. Someone's maybe going to correct me. I think that was the case, though. Right, we just need to move one more guy over. Right, that leaves... Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm liking the progress right now. 103 divisions. They have 104 max. Um, of course, we do have our allies with their 13... 14, 13, which we will be able to use. But I'm not going to use them straight away. I'm going to start off another army, I think. Um, 
Yeah, I think we're going to need another lot, to be quite honest. So we grab another 14, 17. That will bring us nicely up to what we need. You don't need docking rights. Fighters! We could also work on an air force as well. That would also be very useful to us. We're not going to reopen the Burma Road. That is staying closed for the foreseeable future. But also... Oh, since we've actually taken more land, we can have a look to see if that uh, achievement has changed slightly because of it. Nope, it is just the five levels that we had, the five areas. That's not that difficult to do. We could achieve that relatively easily. Uh, but we're not going to work on it now. We're going to continue to work on our, our army. 114 days. Good, 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 good. Um, okay, investments in shipbuilding. So we can go ahead and create a variant now, if we just auto. Let's get torpedo tubes there. That will suffice. So we now have some marines in production. Good. So every dockyard we get is just going to go straight into them. Good order destroyers. Nothing else here is really going to help us out. Oh! Marine tech. Ah, it's not really... Well, build a carrier there. We could get a carrier. We'll do that later on. Um, our modernization, max command port. Don't really need that. Closer ties with Germany. I do kind of want to work down here. That gives us planning skill. There's not really anything here we can do left, so we might as well work on our ties with Germany. Okay, I'm just going to swing over and see... Yeah, we can go ahead and just improve. Just improve that ever so slightly again. Right, that's fine. And there are 17 divisions. I feel like we'll be ready to go at that point. And what we could do is actually build some more... Um, doo -doo -doo. If we just slightly build a port here as well. We'll just start work on that right now. Just so we can launch another invasion of maybe, you know, um, Qingdao here. Um, or we could even go further afield, further south. We could move this naval invasion here. Um, which, you know, let's go ahead and do that. Let's move this further afield. What we'll do is we'll land f more southernly. Not right next to the Yangtze clique, but further down that way. We could get 1940. We're going to go ahead and start getting fighters in, because I do want to get some fighters in play. Because, you know, they are great. <coughs> We're going to have to work in an air force anyways for taking out Japan. Unless they do accept our submission, which is, oh, for Pete's sake... Could be troublesome. We might have to join the Axis. We could do that right now. We will join the Axis, because then we can invade Japan. We're going to have to join the Axis. We're going to be fascist anyways. It makes sense. I just won't declare war on anybody else. But I cannot afford to be at war with Germany and uh, Italy as well. They're just going to be a nuisance for us. So 160 days is sort of the naval invasion capacity. But I, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable when I can actually send over two lots of 24 to wreak havoc. What we can actually do is we can get 10 divisions on that already. We'll move the rest over. Um, Japan's the man in Indochina. Japan has got Indochina. I hate how they do that. If we had just gotten down here fast enough, we could have demanded to overlordship. That will give us a conquer focus on Japan, which would be helpful in the future, but we'll probably get one from them saying no to us anyways. So let's go ahead and do, uh, get up to uh, limited conscription. We do still have low legitimacy, um, which will leave us once we do move the capital. It'll be gone before then, because, you know, it's going to increase by 10-10. It's just going to be chilling there, low legitimacy, with no modifier on it. All right, where are we producing the submarines to? We'll go ahead and actually stick them on Pusan. Again, they still only have three ships. They do only have one dockyard. We have zero ships right now, though. All right, fires 120 days. Magnetic detonator is being worked on. More divisions. We have 17 divisions in production. In training, rather. I keep saying production for them, and it's just not right. That's 16 there. Get two more of you away. Yep, get the last six out, and then that is enough divisions for us. So 
So we've got Falkenhausen is going on a naval invasion. So we could take both of you guys. You guys are going to be the ones going. Go ahead and sort out the. You can keep the orange. I'll oh, we'll change you to the shade of blue. Right, now let's uh, close the ties with Germany's done. Let's grab the gen uh, Chinese general staff. What's. Oh, we've got the next submarines. Which also needs, sadly, worked on. Actually, they're good. We can just jump straight into them. I was going to say bad production, but I'd rather have the better ones in. Um, we could always work on dockyards in Korea slightly. Maybe Port Arthur, give that a little bit of a boost. There we go. That'll do nicely. Another four. So I'll put it on the six. Um, I could, I would like to get at least a ten producing ships. Uh, sadly, we can't get any more by the focus tree. I don't think, unless there's, I don't think there is any more. Nah, it's more like just getting research bonuses. Getting that carrier, build a carrier would be quite nice, but I'm sure there's going to be requirements to do that. It's not just going to be instant. Hundred old light tanks. That's all. That's going to be handy. That is going to be handy. It's going to be nice having those tanks. Um, I'm not going to use you. You're politically connected. You can bugger off. And you you are just as bad. <sighs> well, we'll wait and get another guy. They can be used if I really need them to be used later on. Okay, we do still have more divisions. We have more factories as well. We've got one ship now. We've got one submarine here. Do not have an admiral. Songuto, you are now here. Welcome. We do have the start of a fleet, which is glorious. Siam has joined the pro greater co-prosperity sphere, which, uh, fair enough, they were always going to do that. It's historical, uh, but it is a really terrible move from them. Let's go ahead and start doing some uh, scientific stuff here in the engineering, just because we're kind of behind on all of this. We can get up to 1940, so the improved computer machine. I want to get that because, you know, we are going to be doing a lot of research. Because China isn't really technical, technologically advanced. There we go, I got the word out. Not to the greatest um, quality, but it's, it came out, it came out. Right, now that that's been sorted, let's go ahead and purchase some tanks. Got another four divisions out, that's the wrong lot, there you go. Just got one more to get out. So if we just then you. There we go. Right, so let's get you onto this part of the front. Because we're going to be hitting China a lot harder than Shanxi. I'm going to go ahead and move you over to another port now. Since that is there. And you're going to be the one that strikes Shanghai. Obviously, there'll be 24 and 24 going. How is supply in the region itself? It's okay right now. Uh, we may slightly overdo it once. Um, do you know what? If they ask again for docking rights, I'll I'll give them it. Now we could always get a pan the license for the Panzer, so we can actually produce them to keep some divisions actually there. Or we'll have to go ahead and research mechanized, not mechanized, motorized. Uh, we'll use the Leningrad one. That's only twenty-four days away. This is this is going. Pretty well. I feel, I feel like we're doing a really good job right now. I'm so glad we got Victorial Sing Chang. They were going to be a pain in the backside if they joined the common turn. I'm sorry, what? See, that's why I was wanting uh, Lysongra to join us. It's a lot of divisions he's fielding. Right. We can get some terrible fighters into production. Let's have a look at their air force. They have 500 planes max. Okay, we, we're going to be putting all of our military factories into planes that we create now. We can actually probably take some priority off of the artillery. Maybe even so guns. Just so we can actually get this kind of sorted. Put some more back on the guns, then we'll go for you. Um, aluminium. 
trade with not the Americans. We need our landing craft. We need our convoys rather. Right, that's sorry. What did I say I was going to do with you? Oh, we could improve our. What was I going to do with you? Oh, motorized. I need communist sweep. I don't think we need to do that just yet. I might do it before we go to war, though, just to make sure that there is no such issue. Okay, you can have that. Right, Chinese panzers. That gives us one 100 bonus for uh, research and armor tech. And we get Sino-German tech and the technical mission as well. Which is not too shabby at all. The best in the world. They do have the... Well, at the start of the war, they were the best. I don't think the later tanks were the, of the greatest reliability. Well, three theorists wouldn't be a bad idea. Might as well go ahead and get our ground support expert. Because we are going to be getting those planes out. Eh, we could just promote one of you guys. Right, you'll exercise, because if you are, we can stop. And yeah, we can stop both you guys. You can also stop. I think Falkenhausen still has some. No, he doesn't. Good. Right, they're all ready to go. We do have the landing craft now, so... Yeah, that's 24 and 24. We could always try and take out Lysongrin first. Germany, you can have uh, access to our ports. Why not? What harm will it cause us? Right, I feel like we can jump into this next episode. Whoa, 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 whoa. He got recalled? You recalled him? You did. Sad times. Okay, we've still got him as a general. Just, um, he has, he has left us as our chief of army, which is a bit of a pain, because I'm going to have to grab uh, Guan here. What makes even more... It's fine. Okay, war is continuing to spiral out of control in Europe. Free France is not looking so hot either. Charles de Gaulle, where are you going to run to? I feel like Vichy France has all the territory once, unless they don't... Oh no, Free France is going to end up just having the islands up there near Newfoundland. The Swiss going to be attacked soon as well. I know it's not historical AI, but... No, it is historical AI. They didn't get invaded, but the AI may still do it. Right, that's the yellows exercised up as well. So that's really everybody ready to, you know, go ahead and do this. Yes, you're decent. Good. Right, Chinese Panzer's done. Grab tank plant, because I can't do any of the other bits right now until motorized is done. Um, how are we doing plane-wise? Hey, not a bad start, actually. I feel like those are planes we took from uh, Japan. Well, actually, we're making the war fighters right now. Which we're getting a lot out right now. Surely we haven't went... We could have actually made a lot of these fighters. I am going to get them to cover the north of China. We're not going to have a lot of planes out, but they're not going to have a lot of planes either. Yeah, they don't have all of that many. Right, so I'll leave that episode there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon. Oh, Croatia's getting quite thick. Yeah, I'll be back very soon for um, another episode. So until then, take care. Cheerio bye the now.